All you need to do is look at the images sent back to Earth by NASA's rovers. Mars is a barren planet. Its atmosphere is 95% carbon dioxide, just trace amounts of oxygen and water. Mars is not a welcoming place. Getting there, working there, and getting home would be a technological challenge like none before. The problem with going to Mars, we can probably only send four to perhaps eight people. It's a very expensive endeavor, and uh, you know the likelihood of uh, some catastrophic failure is quite great. Autonomous supply ships would bring the food and water first, perhaps a small habitat where the crew can conduct experiments before packing up and heading home. Despite these obstacles, humans will get there one day because Mars is the next great quest for the Holy Grail, as the moon was more than 50 years ago. Charlie Bolden is a former astronaut and NASA administrator. People are no longer asking, uh, should we go to Mars? They're asking, how do we get there, you know, and how quickly can we get there? Uh, and I, I, I think we're inside 20 years. Those first expeditions will be difficult at best for the crew. They will be living in a confined space for six months just to get there, taking a toll on both mind and body. One crew member will likely be a doctor to deal with illness or injury. They'll need protection from high levels of cosmic radiation bombarding their spacecraft. But what if you could get there in, say, 39 days? A game changer, right? They say that chemical rockets are um, energy limited. Because Physicist and former NASA astronaut Franklin Chang Diaz has been working on revolutionary rocket propulsion for most of his life. Nuclear power provides us an abundance of energy that we can then use to drive plasma rockets, like the Vasimir that we're building, but maybe not the only one. There may be others, but what I'm trying to say is that it, they're not gonna be chemical rockets. They're gonna be plasma electric rockets driven by electricity. Providing enough thrust to travel nearly 55 kilometers in one second. The problem? Half a century has gone by and a compact, powerful nuclear power reactor needed to generate the electricity doesn't yet exist. Eventually, technology breakthroughs will make Mars trips faster and easier on the human body. But for now, it's six months each way. And it may be a private company that gets there first. SpaceX, founded by Elon Musk, is developing its Starship that can carry 100 people. Musk has boasted that he will have humans on Mars by 2026 and a permanent settlement by the 2050s. Possible? Yes. Likely? Probably not. John Zarella, CGTN, Cape Canaveral, Florida.
Chicago's Chinatown on the city's south side has been based here for more than a century. The area around Chinatown is predominantly African-American, and at times there have been tensions between the communities, especially over resources. I think what is needed is for groups to work together in solidarity and find common ground. Um, one way to divide and conquer is to make people um, feel that they are com comparing and competing for resources. Realising that the various communities here rarely engage with one another despite common interests led Angela Lin and Consuela Hendricks to set up a non-profit People Matter. The goal of it is to bring communities together so that we can all advocate for things together and like can get more resources um, for our communities together because when we work together then we you know we win. People Matter aims to break down barriers, especially between black and Asian communities in Chicago. We have uh, Chinese people and then we have black people and we bring them together to talk about different community issues that goes on in their communities and then to work on a one solid solution. At times, racial tensions